Want to see more cool videos on our channel? We do, so press this bell and enable to send notifications. Let go of the past? Well, certainly archaeologists around the world don't think so. Today we're going to tell you about the 10 most amazing discoveries of archaeology in modern times that may alter the course of our understanding towards our ancestral past. In other words, archaeological science can be explained as bookkeeping of prehistoric and historic changes that occurred in human societies with time. Enough with archaeological jargon. Let's jump straight into the most impressive and exciting archaeological assets that have been recently unearthed. Number 10. Forest of Fontainebleau Sometimes, to reflect yourself, all you need is a walk in the woods, and if you happen to wander through the magnificent and mystical ancient forest of Fontainebleau, the reminiscence of the long-forgotten past joins the self-reflection of the present. Being the second largest national forest in France, and once the hunting ground of kings, it covers around 250 kilometers and is roughly located 37 miles southeast of Paris. The geographical history of Fontainebleau has remained limitedly known, mainly because of legends and mysterious occupants of the forest. The first known origins of the forest date back to the year 1000. Archaeological studies point out that some caves of the forest were inhabited by civilizations for tens of thousands of years. Archaeologists have found many rock figures, stones and writings, the oldest of which were not decipherable, being simple geometric abstract lines. Neolithic tombs and tablets of Tartari are yet other anomalies apart from the giant head. The question arises whether these rock formations were crafted by men or have these developed naturally throughout thousands of years. Of these formations, some express figures of elephants, seals and tortoises, etc., which to our knowledge were not evolved or moved in in this part of the world. Number 9. Ancient Gilded Silver Dragons What comes to your mind when you hear the word dragon? A four-legged giant creature breathing and flinging fire from its mouth? Dragons are a legendary creature appearing in multiple folklores with different beliefs varying from giant snakes to winged and horned serpents. Many believe that dragons are a symbol of Chinese traditional beliefs, however dragons are also mentioned in some Mongolian scrolls. There's even a Mongolian year dedicated only to dragons. Archaeological excavation works in Mongolia have unearthed the tombs of Yongu aristocrats and the Tomb of Gilded Silver Dragons. In the Tomb of Gilded Silver Dragons, the archaeologists found a well-preserved and well-crafted pair of Gilded Silver Dragons. The dragons were each three inches in length and, looking back to their tails, were finely carved and their eyes, feathers, horns and teeth were individually identifiable. Archaeologists believe that the discovery of the Gilded Silver Dragons points towards the cultural mix and interaction between the civilizations in the north and central China as well as the high status of the tomb in the Mongol society. Number 8. Carvings of Mayan Society Do you know about one of the most sophisticated and advanced civilizations during ancient times that lasted more than 2,000 years? Yes, we're referring to none other than the Mayan civilization that inhabited present-day Mexico, Guatemala, El Salvador and Honduras. Recently, archaeologists on Earth a beautifully preserved Mayan carving depicting how superpowers would assert their power over the others during the 6th century. The inscriptions point toward the fact that then regional rulers were not just quarreling on a limited scale, but were trapped between the then two superpowers, Tikal and Kaul. The carvings depict three figures seated cross-legged along with two feathered serpents. Archaeologists believe that the building along with the allied frieze was constructed around the year 590 after Tikal suffered a defeat from Kaul. Early Mayan civilizations continue to amaze archaeologists with their advanced knowledge of astronomy and accuracy of calendar making. Of the many theories circling, one suggests that ancient Mayans were visited by aliens who provided them with such advanced knowledge. Number 7. Sutton Hu Helmet Do archaeological finds of the ancient warriors fascinate you? Sutton Hu Helmet, as the name suggests, is an outstanding, important archaeological find among other items and buried wealth of Anglo-Saxons near a ship burial site of 6th and 7th century cemeteries. Sutton Hu's significance for archaeologists can be measured by the fact that it highlights the Anglo-Saxon period and the Kingdom of East Anglia. Sutton Hu Helmet is discovered during the 1930s to 1940s, but it's been put up for public display recently. There was no dead body found alongside the helmet, and archaeologists believe that the body has disappeared in the acidic soil. It's widely believed that the helmet belonged to Redwald, the king of East Angles. 
The helmet was in hundreds of fragments when it was discovered because of the collapsing of the chamber in which it was placed. The find is very unusual because the helmet contains a face mask which is rare in that period. It also contained an iron cap, a guard to safeguard the neck as well as cheek pieces. Its panels were adorned with animal ornaments and depictions of warriors. Number 6. 500-year-old alcohol distillery Construction workers normally expect dirt and debris while digging, but construction sites in Anhui province of China accidentally came across a 500-year-old archaeological site during their excavation activities. The site is believed to be an ancient alcohol distillery which was commenced in operations during the Ming and Qing dynasties. Archaeologists estimate that the distillery was producing alcohol on a commercial scale. So far, only a partial area of the distillery has been excavated. Archaeologists have also discovered three distilling ovens along with more than 30 fermenting storage reservoirs. Multiple artifacts have been found at the site of the distillery, which include bottles, vessels, cigarette holders, etc. The study suggests that the distillery was producing alcohol for centuries. So far, four ancient distilleries have been discovered in China, spanning over a large geographical area, which advocates the importance of alcohol distillation among the ancient Chinese. Number 5. Dead Sea Scrolls Recently, archaeologists have unearthed ancient Dead Sea scripts, which add up to around 800 to 900 manuscripts. So far, it's not been concretely established about the origins of these scrolls. However, rumors have it that these scrolls are the work of Jewish people, including Qumran. The most interesting and yet amazing scroll is one which is 25 feet long and known as the Temple Scroll. What intrigues archaeologists is the remarkable preservation of this scroll. It was scientifically subjected to salty materials that contained calcium, sodium and sulfur. The importance of the scrolls can also be established by the fact that almost the entire Bible is mentioned in those Dead Sea Scrolls. Those scrolls were not only written in Hebrew, but some of the scrolls were also found written in Paleo-Hebrew, Aramaic, as well as Greek. Number 4. Antique Old Vase What are the odds of hitting the jackpot by spending just one pound on an old vase? I suppose zero, but this was not the case for this lucky man who bought a Chinese vase in a charity shop for just one pound and later came to know that he bought a fortune of half a million pounds. Experts from Stansted Mount Fitchit, Essex, discovered that the vase was specially commissioned for the emperor Qianlong, whose reign spanned from 1735 to 1796. The remarkable vase is marked with a special symbol, meaning thereby it was commissioned for one of the emperor's palaces. There is also two red seals which imply the emperor's mark. The vase is commissioned in yellow, a color that was used for royalty only during that era. Its flat back means that it was attached to a wall, a relic of such importance lying around like a normal item in a charity shop has sparked a debate among the Chinese netizens. Some raised a question as to how and why an item of Chinese imperial treasure reached the UK and was sold for just one pound. Number 3. Historical Test of the Bible Critics have always challenged and questioned the authenticity of the Bible over genuineness, authority, canonicity, historicity, ethics, mythology, translation issues, etc. Of all, genuineness has always been challenged the most. Critics claim that since the incidents mentioned in the sacred book are so old, their genuineness cannot be guaranteed. However, a recent discovery of a 2,800-year-old stone altar in a Moabite sanctuary in the ancient city of Ataroth in Jordan, mentioning a biblical war, conforms with the mentions of the Hebrew Bible. The inscription of the altar mentions the war loot of King Mesha after his army conquered the city of Ataroth, then a city under Israel's rule. Much of the inscriptions on the altar are yet to be deciphered owing to the damage to the altar caused over the period of 2,800 years. The second part so far deciphered mentions a large number of men scattered and abandoned the city in great numbers. It further refers to a desolate city, possibly pointing towards the pillage of King Mesha to the city of Ataroth. Much of the inscriptions are yet to be deciphered, which will eventually lead to knowledge of a more reliable turn of events that happened during that time. Number 2. Decorated Pictish Stone Archaeologists have unearthed many stones with mysterious carvings, but recently they were lucky enough to have their hands on a 1,200-year-old standing stone. This discovered stone is one of the only 50 Pictish stones known to archaeologists to date. Sometimes the thing you're searching for everywhere is right under your nose. This carved stone was lying in ground unnoticed and covered with vegetation for years, discovered by archaeologists at a Christian site near Dingwall, Scotland. 
Ironically, the stone was also used as a grave marker in the 18th century. Later, it was used as a lintel over a church doorway. Archaeologists believe that they have only half of the stone, with a size over one meter. The decorations and markings on the stone portray animals, mythical beasts, and animal heads. The important discovery sheds light on the Picts' medieval era, who decorated stones as well as constructed forts on hills to defend themselves from the invading Romans and the Viking civilizations. Number 1. The 14th Century Ancient Sword Digging sewers is a routine and boring task for construction workers, where they expect to extract only waste materials. But this was not the case for a pipe layer and engineer who, while digging a sewer on the street of Algard, a street in the Danish city of Aalborg, came across a well-preserved medieval sword. Experts from the Northern Jutland Historical Museum believe that the sword belongs to the 14th century, as the layer of soil in which the sword is found belongs to that era. The sword is 3.7 feet long, in one piece, and the double-sided edges are still sharp. Experts claim that the sword belonged to a high-status warrior who used it in brutal civil wars of Aalborg at that time. In the era, swords belonged to only royalty owing to their expensiveness. As a high-status item, swords are usually found in graves, however this particular one was found in a sewer. How this sword ended up in a sewer is still unknown. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please let me know by clicking the like button. Do share, write a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so you can catch up my next video.